Hello everyone, I'm going to be going over a potential tank that is going to follow the T10 Tier 9 Russian Heavy Tank in the next patch, 9.22, for World of Tanks. Uh, the Object 777 version 2 here, it's been in the client for quite some time. Um, the stats will need a little bit of updating uh, since you know it's been sitting in the client for you know at least a couple of years now, I believe. And they have not really announced if it's going to be a Clan Wars reward or it's going to be, you know, a personal missions tank. Definitely not a premium tank as far as being sold because it's tier 10. And, you know, it's just kind of been sitting here. It's a finished tank as far as the uh, model goes. Stat-wise, it does uh, make sense when they um, had finished this model. It is balanced pretty well. However, getting into more details when I go into comparisons here. It will need a little bit of updating, but getting into why uh, this tank is going to be an upcoming uh, tier 10 Russian uh, heavy tank in the tech tree. If you look at the, this image here, basically in 9.22, the Russian tech tree is getting a huge overwork from tank destroyers to medium tanks, specifically high tier changes. But you'll notice leading to the IS-7, the Object 257 heavy tank is replacing the T-10. The T10 is still coming off the IS-3, however, it's going to have a unannounced Tier 10 heavy tank following it. Um, right now, you know, there's not a ton of time for them to introduce a brand new tank. They could, you know, pull a surprise off, um, but usually um, you do see tanks that are upcoming um, already in the game client or potentially leaked, which, you know, it's not a, out of the realm for Wargaming to do that, however, there is this object 777 version 2 it's been sitting in the client you know they're not really you know they haven't really been sure i guess what to do with it and now's a perfect time to where it makes a lot of sense to add it in after the t10 so getting into the description here it was a unique heavy tank project um, basically by 1953 the design plans were made dummy vehicle prototype was built it featured a cast hull streamlined turret and the 122 millimeter M62 uh, T2 gun. However, the project, once it hit the prototype phase, was canceled and it never entered mass production, nor was it actually fielded on a battlefield. Now, the important thing is the 122 millimeter M62 T2 gun. It's actually identical uh, to the top gun found on the T10 here. Same gun actually has the same stats more or less outside of a little bit of accuracy differences but basically same uh same tank uh concept here with the top gun and looking at the t10 this tank actually entered service in 1953 don't know if that's a coincidence but anyway getting back to looking at the tech tree here this is a mod to see kind of game or uh, tanks that are in the client that currently aren't um, in the actual tech tree You'll notice the Object 257 that's going to be replacing the T10. Currently, that's a Tier uh, 10 before the 9.22 patch here. However, it is being down-tiered to Tier 9 and rebalanced a little bit. You also have um, basically the upcoming uh, Object 268 uh, TD that's going to be entering the tech tree. And then outside of that, you know, all these other tanks outside of the 907A are currently in the tech tree, uh, except for the Object 777 uh, version 2 here, or I don't mean just in the tech tree, but others are premium tanks or reward tanks. But the Object 77 version 2 here is the only one that's not really announced for anything. It's not a personal mission tank yet. It potentially might be. You know, it's not tied to Clan Wars, you know, as far as being a reward tank. So the likelihood of this being added into a t uh, after the T10 I think it's a pretty good chance. So getting back um, into previewing the tank, you'll notice it's very compact. Uh, so basically, to me, it kind of improves on the T10 uh, type of tank to where it is pretty decently mobile. It's got a decent amount of armor, but nothing like mind blowing. And it's kind of a mesh between a heavy and a medium tank. So getting into comparisons here, comparing it against the IS-7, WZ-111 5A, IS-4 and also keeping the T-10 up here. More or less, you have a 440 damage gun, same as the IS-4, uh, since, you know, basically the guns across both of these 
are the same gun outside of a few minor uh, stat differences. But looking at it, you have a 440 damage gun, which is less than the IS-7 and the WZ-111 5A. However, they do have a little bit more penetration, uh, eight millimeters. And the Object 777, you know, given it has the same gun as the IS-4 and T-10, it has a 340 millimeter pen heat round, which beats the IS-7 and is tied with the WZ-111 5A. Now looking at the rate of fire, um, you know, DPM, stuff like that, the Object 777 version 2 is basically identical to the T-10, and it's slightly worse than the IS-4 when it comes to uh, damage per minute uh, here. Not by much, but just a hair. But the stats are identical to the T-10, except for, you know, the dispersion is, you know, just a little bit better than the T-10s. So this is something where since this tank has been in the game clients forever and they haven't really updated it since it first kind of uh, appeared in them, I think they'll just end up, you know, maybe uh, buffing the accuracy, maybe by one little bit more, or, you know, definitely they're going to have to um, increase the rate of fire over the T10, you know, to give it at least uh, the same DPM as say the WZ111 5A, um, that currently sits, which this is 100% cruise, uh, no equipment on them, and no crew skills. Um, it at least needs to have, you know, say 2700, 2800 DPM if you're going to compare it, because I do think that's the closest tank uh, the Object 77 version 2 will be compared to, the WZ111 5A. So stat-wise, the gun, you know, basically the same as the T10 however it, do, it does need some updating since the game has kind of in a way been power creeped a lot of older tanks um, so it needs a little bit of updating and refreshing before they release it so hit points a little bit low um, however just a little bit less than the WZ111 5A here much better than the T10 now and you know less than the IS-7 IS-4 so I don't think they need to touch the hit points, um, especially say if they buff the gun. Uh, DPM definitely needs a buff, but it is going to have lower hit points than say an IS-7, IS-4, since it's kind of a blend between a medium and a heavy, as far as uh, my opinion on the tank. Mobility here, uh, the IS-7 did get a semi-recent, like huge mobility buff, so it does have a little bit less specific power than the IS-7. Um, However, terrain resistance values, they can uh, vary tank to tank. Object 7.7 will probably have better terrain resistance values once it, you know, gets released here. Because I'm fairly confident this is going to happen. Could be completely wrong here, but just being speculative here. Um, it does have a slightly lower top speed, same traverse rate. Um, weight load is definitely less than the IS-7 because it's a very small compact. But... More or less, it is faster than the WZ111 5A, and it's also faster than the T10 that follow or uh, precedes it. So essentially, this is another thing where uh, basically going from the T10 to the Object 777, uh, you're going to have improvements most likely on the gun, in the accuracy, and also DPM uh, department, but also in mobility. Armor-wise, I'll get to the specific armor values, but looking at the tank, um, it's a minor improvement over the T10 thickness-wise. Um, however, it is going to be less armored than, say, the IS-7. Better than the WZ-111 5A in some ways. I'll go over that after this. And most likely, uh, the IS-4. It's IS-4 is better than the 777 at, say, uh, side scraping and angling. Uh, but the IS-4 head-on is pretty weak against tier 10s already. But turret armor is uh, pretty strong in the front. So you do have a pretty heavily armored um, heavy tank. It's not like a T-10 that's extremely squishy, but it does have some weak spots to it. So going down to concealment, not anything special here. You know, they're all right around the same here in the 6 the 6.9 values. And the V range is slightly low, 390 compared to 400. Again, this, this tank has been in the client for at least a couple years, I believe. So while 390 wouldn't kill the tank, it is probably going to get uh, buffed up to 400 by the time it sees us um, in the tech tree, maybe personal missions, stuff like that, something like that. But getting back to the armor, though, 
So this tank does have um, you know a little bit thinner armor than most other heavies at tier 10. Um, the side armor is decent, but nothing uh, spectacular. Turret armor is very strong. So getting back into a preview here of the tank, uh, you'll notice the upper glacis is extremely angled here. It's not the thickest armor to where if things do get close up, you can pen down into it. However, the upper glacis will bounce most things. Same goes for the turret, and the hatches on the turret are very teeny tiny as well. So it's going to be a tough tank to penetrate unless you're, say, a heavy tank shooting down on it, or you flank it since the side armor is not uh, very well. It's not like the IS-7 that has spaced armor on the side. More or less, it just has tracks. And while there are a couple uh, places that are angled into the hull, they're not very thick, so it is easy to penetrate. I'm pulling up a couple images here of kind of the armor view, though. The top one, uh, frontally, is the Object 777 version 2. The bottom is the WZ-111 5A, you know, both tier 10 heavy tanks. As you can see, you know, they both have that lower plate uh, weak spot. The Object 777 has a little bit added uh, weak spot right on the front of the uh, upper glacis, essentially. It isn't angled enough to where you can penetrate it there compared to the WZ-111 5A that gets a little bit tougher, but the 777 has a much more angled upper glacis so it's pretty much going to bounce things and it's not going to be able to be penetrated unless like you chuck a heat round at it or you get a little bit of that angle shaved off looking at the turret fronts uh you know it doesn't have a huge mantlet so next to the gun it can be penetrated however the hatches on this thing are so small while they are weak you can't really consider them weak spots because unless you're like right up close to this thing and it's not moving actually hitting a hatch is pretty damn difficult so coming into the game you know as a tier 10 heavy uh the gun even though you know the t10's gun works for tier 9 but once you start getting the tier 10 you know 440 damage per shot um it will uh work on this tank primarily because it's almost like a blend between it's like a slow medium tank essentially to where while the IS-7 right now statistically does have more mobility than it, um, since that recently has been buffed, I feel like when we see the Object 777 version 2 here, it'll get a little bit of a buff to its DPM, because currently that is low, considering it only has 440 damage per shot, and it's identical to the T-10 that we currently have. And mobility-wise, I do think it'll get a little bit of a buff to, say, its engine power, um, to where right now um, it remains to be seen because terrain resistance values change a lot uh, before a tank um, is introduced into the game like right now it's comparable to the is7 but the is7 does have bad terrain resistance to where this tank most likely will be mobile more mobile than the is7 except for going down hills the is7 definitely has the edge when it comes to top speed but in the grand scheme of things uh, you know, coming out with the Object 777, I feel like makes a ton of sense because you're taking the T10, you're giving it a little bit better armor profile on the front, which, you know, the tanks squash down to where while the upper glacis will provide protection, turret front's really strong and is a strong suit. It's kind of taking, you know, the best of what in a way the IS-7 is as far as giving a little bit more armor um, and also reducing the damage per shot and comparing it to the Russian medium. So you have kind of the best of both worlds squished into one tank. And personally, while it could turn out to be a little bit broken if they make it too fast, um, you know, you don't want to uh, encroach on mediums as far as uh, the mobility goes. To where, you know, it does have very good armor, but the lower plate's very weak. Uh, you can penetrate the upper glacis in a lot of spots once you switch over to heat rounds. And the side is very weak as well. To where you have an interesting heavy tank to where, again, this isn't a sure thing whether or not this is going to be the tank that comes after the T-10. Pulling up that image again uh, over here. You know, right now it is unannounced, uh, the T-10. Um, you know, doesn't have a tier 10 heavy tank after it, but it will be... Um, put in place by the next patch 9.22 which is due to release in basically a month now 
So while there might be a different tank coming after the T10, I think it's more likely that this will be the tier 10 heavy. Again, nothing set in stone, but at the very least, we should see this tank coming up. My guess, if it isn't 9.22, it'll be a personal mission tank. Um, because while there are a couple other options, uh, this kind of would make sense, uh, given that the Object 260 uh, was the other tier 10 personal mission rewards. Uh, this would also fit in line with them having a tier 10 Russian heavy for that. But more likely than not, this is currently the tank I'm going for, for the Russian uh, tier 10 heavy in 9.22, because it's already done, the model. You know, statistically, it doesn't need much changing to kind of be a spiritual successor to the T10. And, you know, as far as Russian tier 10 heavies go, uh, you're going to have yourself uh, the IS-4, which is kind of the slower, you know, slower bunch of tanks, uh, a little bit more uh, durability, and it's good at angling and kind of being a jack of all trades. You have the IS-7 that has a little bit of oomph behind its gun at 490 damage. Not really good penetration or accuracy, but solid frontal and side armor with that troll space armor. But mobility struggles, especially when you're not on hard ground. And then, you know, adding in the object uh, 777 version 2 into the mix, you're going to have kind of the medium-ish heavy of those uh, tanks to where it's not going to be able to slug it out with heavy tanks, nor will it be able to do everything a medium tank can do but it will have kind of a blend between the two which is kind of what the t10 uh, currently does to where it doesn't have the armor of a heavy doesn't have the mobility of a medium but it brings a little bit more of a heavyish gun to a medium tank fight but anyway thanks again uh, for watching this video uh, hopefully at the very least uh, you know you got to see a a tank that not many people have talked about and hopefully we see this in a 9.22 patch because it'll be pretty interesting. I think it'll work out. Uh, who knows? They might even make it the tier 10 Russian medium that currently isn't announced. If you're looking at this image again, announced to come after the Object 430 uh, version 2. It could potentially be that. I think it'll stay as a heavy tank, but, you know, who knows? <laughs> Only Wargaming does, I guess. <laughs> Which... You know, anyway, thank you again for watching this video. Have a very nice day, and hopefully I'll see you around uh, sometime soon again. Have a good one.